je... Save the agenda. Save the Sanji agenda with... Bro, the Sanji agenda is fucking fine, bro. All right, nothing that's ever happened beat out what happened last week's chapter of One Piece. It's not possible, bro. Like, it's just not possible. Like, oh my god, he got thrown by a Seraph and took no damage. Whoa, holy shit, whoa. <laughs> nothing beats it. Um, okay. Now nah, we're not doing the wheel. Fuck it, we're not doing the wheel. We're not doing the wheel. I thought it was going to be last. I'm going to do... Actually, fuck, do I want to do the wheel? No, I don't. In order to save the universe, something's going to have to be... Oh! Over the past 24 hours, South Korea Twitch streamers have been protesting the site's shutdown in a unique way by broadcasting adult content like sexualized games and wearing revealing outfits. Damn. South Korea's Twitch... Yo, is there a link to these streams? Yo, what's going on in South Korea? So I do know that there was a mass. So what was it? Uh, I remember there was a recent change that happened on Twitch that affected South Korea. I think other countries in a pretty bad way to where the revenue was no near as good or they couldn't get subs anymore. I remember there was something like that that involved Twitch South Korea. I forgot those details. Let me see that actually right here quick. South Korea Twitch streamers are, bro yeah, okay, are, are broadcasting adult content to protest the platform. Uh, eggs. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Right there. Eggs in the country. I, I, I didn't even like read the main thing. Duh. Okay. That was foolish to me. So they're leaving. The, so they're leaving. I don't know why though. But so they're leaving South Korea. So the South Korean streamers are just like, yo, if you're going to leave, fuck it. We're just going to go naked. And... I can appreciate this. I appreciate it more if I could see, you know, what exactly she was doing. But I appreciate this. South Korean streamers are going out with a bang on the platform last day in the country, broadcasting uh, an influx of adult content to protest the shutdown. In December 2023, Twitch CEO Dan Clancy announced that the stream site's sudden decision to halt race in South Korea due to uh, prohibitively excessive operating costs. Twitch has been operating in South Korea in Korea at a significant loss. And unfortunately, there is no pathway forward for our business to run more sustainability in that country. Clancy said in a blog post, streamers who built their careers on the platform were left devastated by the news with the only with, with only two months to find a solution. Broadcasters were forced to either switch websites or change careers as Twitch claimed it would cease businesses in South Korea on Friday, 27, 2024. Yeah, okay. Mm. I know that it takes a fuck ton of money for them to run. The hell is this? Okay. Arkle explains what's going on in South Korea with various bills and laws which are going to uh, be packing various services online for a myriad of reasons. But their till DR is government bureaucracy fucking over everyone and giving too much power to the ISPs. Okay, fair enough. Well, ultimately, it just comes down to money. That's what it all comes down to. Generally, not to its fault, Korea, just government is dumb. I've heard. What the fuck is Buddy streaming, man? Wait a minute. Why is she alone with this fucking Pokemon trainer blushing like that? With the... No way! That's a young lad. Chill. Yo, someone stop her. This guy's doing some crazy shit. Uh, okay, but let me just see what's going on with, with the government side of things here. I get the gist of it from that one sentence right there. Let me see what's going on here. South Korea's sender's pay policy is a threat to the internet. The sender's pay model is poison, is poison, is poised, sorry, poised to create fragmentation of digital rules and standards, compromising the digital ecosystem that have been at the heart of the internet's innovation and growth. It sounds like the goddamn one thing that happened years ago. Um, I forgot what it was called. What was it called years ago? Was it called like soap or something? Or like, uh, Hippa, Sippa, like to pr to protect the fucking kids. For the kids, oh my god! There was a new change that fucked over so many content creators. I remember that if you were a content creator that did child focused content, you just got reamed. You just got absolutely devastated. But I think that was a YouTube thing. Well, not maybe YouTube thing, but that was a thing. 
that was broadly speaking all over the internet. But YouTube got hit pretty hard with that stuff. I forgot what it was called, bro. But that's when YouTube started to actually implement the, you know, is this uh, video uh, child friendly, child safe? And everyone's like, no, 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 no. Because if it was child friendly or child focused content, you just got reamed when it came to your ad content. You just got uh, Apocalypse. Um, it wasn't that. I just ran back to the other uh, side of my apartment and I see what comes up. But bro, listen, <laughs> we're talking about the safety of the internet on a global scale, okay? And South Korea apparently is fucking up. But I forgot what it's called, though. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the presidents of South Korea and the United States met in May, they... Do I care about this? They highlighted their shared belief in... No, I don't. I definitely don't. Uh, the sender's pay policy were reinforced in 2020 when the Telecommunications Business Act, TBA, was amended to include... Uh, value-added telecom services providers, VSPs, specifically content providers. Oh, shit. Hold on. Mm. Let me see. South Korea has implemented and slash or reduced intercon interconnection rules that are in direct conflict with the model of internet working. First, South Korea Ministry of Science, the, C the ICT, and the Future Planning, the predecessor of the Ministry of Science, the NITC, began requiring ISPs to charge for the traffic they receive from each other. ISPs previously used settlement-free peering as a payment model, but today some of that cost has shifted towards the content providers. Now, several bills introduced in 2021 seek to mandate the local and foreign content providers enter in contracts with ISP South Korea in order to use their networks. Lawmakers argue these revisions would level the playing field between local and foreign content providers, but they would, in fact, make a bad situation worse. So if you're abroad or if you're a company that is outside South Korea and then you want to inject your content within South Korea, it's going to cost you more money, like vastly more money, because you're doing what now? You're paying... You're paying... You're, you're being charged for the traffic... That you're inputting into South Korea, into in the South Korea, into South Korean ISPs. I think I'm getting that right. Lawmakers argued that revisions would level the playing field uh, between local and foreign content providers, but they would, in fact, make a bad decision, a, a bad situation worse. While this settlement model was once useful for traditional tele telephone based communications, it is an approach that makes little sense in the in the internet age. If these rules are enacted, there would be an immediate and long-term consequence for South Korea in an internet impact uh, assessment done by the Internet Society. We found that the existing sender pay rules create an unnecessary cost and bottlenecks in South Korea's digital ecosystem. The result is insufficient traffic flows, higher cost of data transmission, and a more hierarchical, less resilient network uh, topology. Uh, all of which results in lower quality of service for internet users in South Korea. Mm. Basically, it's dog water, bro. It's dog water. It's dog water. It's dog water. The newly proposed amendments to the TVA will only exacerbate these issues as they will require more networks to follow mandated interconnection settlement schemes. Okay, listen, well, hold on. One of the bills introduced implicitly allows ISPs to, refu to refuse to carry traffic from content providers who fail to pay the network usage fees. If enforced, content providers are currently serv are serving users in South Korea from abroad, like in Tokyo and Hong Kong, will essentially be blocked. This is some Twitch right here. That, so that's got to be Twitch issues right there, among other things, bro. So ISPs can just flat out refuse traffic from websites into their country. Not like the government of South Korea, the fucking ISPs of South Korea. The ISPs can say, hey, you over there, Apple, Amazon, you over there, Twitch.tv, you have to pay us a certain amount of money so traffic, so this site can actually function in South Korea. 
And if you don't pay us this money, you're fucked. Get fucked. Bro, why is... <laughs> what are China the same thing? I mean, I'm pretty sure China has their own problems too. And I heard that South Korea had some good interconnection, bro. I heard that South Korea had some good stuff. Some good stuff in terms of internet, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, internet speed. And when I was there, though, to be fair, the last time I was in South Korea was in 2016. So it's been, holy fuck, it's been eight years. So I guess these changes happened recently. But it's been eight years since I was in South Korea. And now they're just absolute dog shit. The internet was lit. It was fire. Now it's getting fucked. They're protesting Twitch, but it sounds like what they should be doing is protesting their own government, honestly. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, based on the article, it sounds like they should be protesting, they, they should be protesting their own government for their inability to see beyond the scope of this country and allow at least... I mean, because there's, there's no way... In terms of inter interconnectivity, it's way better to have it a uh, broad scale over network rather than just be boxed in the way they're trying to do it right now. And having people to force to paywall. Though I say that as of a paywall right now on Patreon. Uh -huh. Okay. Either way, that's that right there. Uh, does it suck? It does suck. But let me see what else sucks. No, not this. What's going on? Wait, wait. 